Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back everyone. I hope all of you had a blessed and happy Eid. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is pressure at a point inside a liquid. Okay. If you remember, I already sent you a video on this one. Okay. So I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing. So those who have watched the video, it will be easier for them to understand. Okay. I have already the record who actually watched and give this thumbs up. Okay. I have watched. Yeah, I know. Okay. So let us go through. We want to find out the pressure at a point inside a liquid. So if I want to find out the pressure, I must know the equation of pressure. That is force divided by area. Okay. Now let us say there is a point. Uh, I, I, let us say I want to find out the pressure. Sir. That is being, yes. Like the regular? If you want, you can write. Anyway, I'm going to okay. give the video later. So if you want, you can write now or later you may take the notes. It's up to you. No problem. Okay. So I want to find out the pressure that is being exerted on the bottom surface of this uh, box or jar. Okay. It is full of uh, a liquid. Okay. So that liquid definitely will be exerting some pressure on the bottom surface. This is the bottom surface, right? Okay the the crisscrossed one that is the bottom surface okay so i want to find out the pressure now if i want to find out the pressure i must know two things one the force and the second one is the area let us say the area of the bottom surface is a itself okay a this is the area now i want to know what is the force that is being exerted on the bottom surface let us think about this way when I'm standing on the ground, definitely I'm exerting some force on the ground, right? And that is equal to my weight. Okay, whatever my weight is, that is the amount of force that I'm exerting on the ground. Correct? Now, if you think this way, this water, uh, the, uh, not water, I will say any liquid, okay? This liquid is kind of standing on this bottom surface, correct or not? Sorry. This is the bottom surface and the liquid is standing on this. So as a result, can I say that the force that is being exerted on the bottom surface is equal to the weight of the liquid. Can I say this? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So that means this force, this force is equal to weight of the liquid, weight of the liquid. Okay, so this liquid will exert a force on the bottom surface that is equal to its weight. Correct? Okay. Now, weight of the liquid. Now, weight is equal to mg, mass into acceleration due to gravity. We already know this one. Correct? Weight is equal to W is equal to mg. This one, this you have learned uh, since grade 8. Right? Now, we know density we already discussed about the topic density that is rho is equal to mass divided by volume so here if i want to find out m so i have to cross multiply rho and v so m will be equal to rho into v and again this v this one can further be broken down into area into height now let us say the height of the liquid level is h okay uh, so if i want to find out the volume of this one see this is the area that is given already into height area into height that will give you the volume correct or not those who are having some confusion let me tell you the volume is equal to length into breadth into height now if you notice length into breadth this is equal to the area. So volume can be written as area into height. So here I have further broken down the volume as area into height. So M is equal to definitely can be written rho A H. So the value of M that we found out here, we will replace it in this equation now. So M 
can be replaced by rho a h then there is g so it will be g now we have found out the force right we will put the value of force back into this equation then it will give me the value of pressure okay so let us uh, put let us consider this one as equation one so we will write equation one becomes are my writings clear if you cannot see my writing yes sir yes, it sir. is clear let me know okay so the pressure will become equal to force is rho a h g rho a h g divided by a area a so a and a they will cancel each other so the only remaining quantities will be h rho and g so this is the equation okay pressure is equal to h rho g this is the main equation that you have to keep it in your mind okay you are going to use this equation in solving a numerical problems also inshallah okay so here you must know what represents what p is pressure h is the height of the liquid level or you can say depth of the liquid level okay depth Sir, yes is this equation for cube i mean for height is this equation for height i mean cube er jonno ki equation use korbo amra je p is equal to rho hg cube cube mane bujhi nai cube kotha theke ashlo na jodi kono sum cube related thake tokhon to height thakbe right to tokhon ki amra ei equation ta use korbo ha mane height deya thakbe ar hocche je liquid ta she liquid er density jante hobe tomar thik ache oh okay three things okay height of the liquid it will be given in the question inshallah and then rho the density of the liquid okay the density depends on the liquid if it is honey then the then uh, rho will have a certain value if it is water then the value of rho will change definitely and if it is mercury then the rho, value of rho will be different then g it is 9.8 always right okay up to this point it, it's clear yes sir okay so we are going to discuss a little further about this uh, equation because i have seen there has been some appearance of the mcqs regarding this equation okay let us try to understand so p is equal to h rho g okay now here if you take a look let us say i am not changing the liquid okay whatever the experiment i am doing with okay the liquid is same so if i do not change the liquid what will happen the value of rho it will be constant right because if i if i do not change the liquid the density of it will not change okay the density will only change when you change the liquid so if i am not changing the liquid the density will not change and the value of g this is also constant right so from this equation can i write p is proportional to h can i write this i i will take out the constants from here and the equal sign will become proportional i plug back the constants and the proportional sign will become equal we already know this right whenever we say that a is proportional to b and we want to put an equal sign we have to introduce a constant now when you bring a constant it becomes equal when you take out the constant again it will become proportional so from here also we can do the same these two are constant so as a result if i take them out p will become proportional to the height we can easily understand right if i increase the height what will happen more liquid will be there and more amount of force will be exerted and as a result more amount of pressure will be felt right this is what it tells us if you increase the height the pressure will increase now let us say i have taken some uh, liquid out okay as a result the liquid level will go down okay so if the liquid level goes down there will be less amount of force that will be exerted on the bottom and as a result you will get less pressure do you understand my point yes sir yes sir now let us say this is the uh, the same amount of liquid is there but the height you are taking is different 
Now, what does that mean? Let me say, explain. <clears throat> Let us say I am taking a point here. Okay. Now, what is the depth of this point from the top? Okay. This is very much less, right? So here, less amount of pressure will be felt. Now, if I take another point a little deeper, what will happen here? The value of H is a little bit bigger. So the pressure here will be greater than the pressure here. So as you can understand, as you go deeper and deeper, the pressure will increase and the pressure will be maximum at the bottom surface. And the pressure will be the minimum at the top surface. These are very important MCQs, okay? The pressure increases with the depth. If you double the depth, the pressure will be doubled. If you quadruple the depth, the pressure will also be quadrupled. Do you understand my point? Okay. Proportional, directly proportional relation. That means if you change, if you make it 100 times, the other one also will become 100 times. Now, there is a practical explanation or uh, a practical phenomenon that I can give you an example. Uh, that will help you to understand this one. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> let us say I make a hole here. Okay. I may I make a hole here. Now the liquid will be coming out from here. Correct or not? The liquid will come out and fall. Do you understand? Because there is liquid. I made a hole here, and the liquid will start falling. Anybody has any doubt regarding this? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Now let us say I made another hole a little bit further down. Now what will happen? Here also the liquid will come down, but you will notice that the liquid is going a little bit further and then falling down. If I make another hole a little bit down, what will happen? Now the liquid. Sir. Yes. Jodi amra ekebere niche de hole ta kori. प्रेसारे নিচে যত নিচে যাবা তত প্রেসার বেশি তত প্রেসার বেশি এবং একদম বটমে প্রেসার ইজ ম্যাক্সিমাম এখানে না পানিটা সবচেয়ে বেশি জোরে গিয়ে পড়বে ঠিক আছে তো এই স্যার এই প্রেসারটা কেন স্যার এই যে হাইটের জন্য তুমি দেখো এই যে যখন তুমি এতটুকু ডেপথে এতটুকু ডেপথে হাইট নিছো তখন খুব কম পরিমাণ ওয়াটার না দেখো তো এই যে এই পয়েন্টের উপরে খুব কম পরিমাণ ওয়াটার কম পরিমাণ ওয়াটার কম পরিমাণ প্রেসার দিবে তুমি যখন আর একটু নিচে আসছো উপর এখন আর একটু বেশি পরিমাণ ওয়াটার তুমি যত নিচে যাবা তত ওয়াটারের পরিমাণ বাড়তে থাকবে তো তাইলে বেশি প্রেসার তুমি এখন ফিল করবা ওকে ওকে সো দিস ইজ দ্য রিজন আচ্ছা আরেকটা জিনিস হচ্ছে তোমরা দেখবা যে মানে যারা বাড়ি হবা ঠিক আছে দোজ হু আর হাউস ওনার্স ওয়েন দে ফিক্স ইউ নো লেট আস সে দিস ইজ দ্য ওয়াটার ট্যাঙ্ক ওকে এন্ড ফ্রম দিস দ্য কানেকশন are going to the houses okay mane koro ekhan theke ekta bashay connection deya hoyeche ekhan theke ekta bashay connection deya hoyeche bari walar er nijeder bashay sobche nicher je connection ta na oi ta niye jay keno niye jay pressure beshi right oder oder tap gula diye jate khub high pressure e water ashe ebong on korar sathe sathe ora enough water pay okay arekta jinish hocche তুমি যখন দেখো ওয়াটারটা মনে করো উপর থেকে কমতে কমতে এখন এখানে চলে আসছে এখানে ওয়াটার লেভেল আসার সাথে সাথে কি হবে নিচে দুইটা দিয়ে এখনো ওয়াটার যাবে ঠিক কিন্তু উপরে দুইটা দিয়ে ওয়াটার যাওয়া বন্ধ হয়ে যাবে না হ্যাঁ তো এই কারণে হচ্ছে মানে যখন বা অন্যটা মনে করো ওয়াটার লেভেল এখন এখানে নেমে গেছে অন্য বাকিরা কেউ ওয়াটার পাবে না কিন্তু ওরা ঠিকই এখনো পানি পাবে ঠিক আছে সো देयर আর डिफरेंट রিজনস সো সো আই होप यू আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড রাইট so this is a very important that you understand that uh, the pressure increases with the increase of the depth okay now another example is there when a diver dives into the sea what happens if the diver does not go that much below under the water 
the pressure exerted on him will be very less. But if he goes deep down, more deeper, more deeper into the sea, what will happen? The pressure on him will keep rising, right? So there are, are what like water pressure? Water pressure, definitely water pressure. How? Sea water pressure. When he goes into the sea, a uh, large amount of water pressure is being exerted on him when the diver goes. And that is why actually their uh, suits are made, you know, in a special way so that they can, you know, absorb uh, and tolerate the pressure. Okay. Their body can absorb the pressure and they can stay normal. Okay. So this is going to be in the exam, inshallah. At least one MCQ I will give that if the height becomes 100 times, uh, what will be the change in pressure? I will give the pressure will become 50 times. I will give the pressure will become, uh, you know, 100 times and the pressure won't change or it will remain same or none of the above. So you have to answer. Pressure will also become 100 times. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the next topic. Achha. Now, <clears throat> we are going to see the use of this equation in the numerical examples. Okay. Let me show you an example how to calculate. Many times, you know, uh, it will be said that 76 centimeter hydrogram pressure. Sometimes this pressure is written as only P. Okay, so it will be said that 76 centimeter hydrogenum free. Now, what does this mean? This means a pressure. You will say that, sir, this is a length, this is a height. How can it be a pressure? It is a pressure. By height, we will denote a pressure. How we can denote a pressure using height, we will see, inshallah. Okay, we can convert any height into pressure given you know the liquid. The liquid has to be mentioned. Why? From here, we can easily see the value of H. It is 76 centimeter, which I have to convert into MKS unit. MKS unit means meter. So 76 centimeter has to be converted into meter. And that one we can do divided by 100. So it will be 0 0.76 meter. Okay. Now the row. The density, it will depend on the liquid. Uh, to know the density, you have to mention the liquid, okay? If it is water, then the value of density will be a particular value. Now for hydrogenum, hydrogenum is a scientific name of mercury. So mercury, uh, the density is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. See, here you have meter cube. That is why you have to convert the height into meter if it is given in some other unit. Okay, so rho and the value of G. See, H we got, rho we got, and G we already know. So 9.8, okay, meter per second square. Now, if we put back the value in this equation, I will get 0 0.76 into 13,600 into uh, 9.8. Now, there is some confusion regarding the density of the mercury, okay? Because in our time, in the book, the value was given as 13,600. Now, in your book, I have found the value is more specific. The value is given as 13,596, okay? Not exactly 600, it is 13,596. Now, which one will you use? It will depend on the given value in the question. Whatever the value they give you as the density of mercury, you will use that value only. Okay. Now the question arises. What, so what if, if they don't give? Uh -huh. What if they don't give any value? Then you have the liberty to use this value or this value. But to be safe, I, I don't think if you write this value, they will cross. Uh, they, they will uh, cut your mark. But more safer is to use this value. Because using this value, 
uh, if they you know deduct your mark in some way you may challenge that sir i have written it correct so why my mark will be deducted okay but if you write this value you don't have much opportunity to challenge okay even though this is correct but this is not in your book so always i uh, suggest to follow the values that are given in your book try to follow that okay and uh, most uh, uh, you know mostly what will happen the value will be given in the question itself so there won't be any confusion inshallah okay so sir we will use 13.596 no no it's not point it's 1000 13000 13600 and 13000 96 okay i will so, sir, which one will you we use you can use this one because in your book i have seen this value okay 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 so in the result there are only much difference so if you now calculate multiply all these three quantities you will get a certain amount of value of pressure okay and uh, can anybody tell me calculating what is the amount of pressure you get if you calculate it is supposed to be 101325 it is supposed to be this one and the value of sir apne screen ta dekha jacche na amar screen dekha jacche na ki bolo amar to ekhane हाइटी a uh, liquid is mentioned then you can easily find out the pressure from there correct so the answer is different yes a little bit uh, more or less doesn't make any difference no problem okay okay so do we have enough time to start another topic today um uh, okay uh, let me uh, yes i have one question i hmm. have gave the in physics group one circular can you please explain it circular yes, so this is actually not for you because for you there was not any exam anyway right dear parents thank you for continuous and unwavering support sir sir excuse me actually ki amader kon exam hobe na ami ab bollam to tomader to exam emnitei ekhon howar kotha chilo na dekho grade e je okay wait number hobeo na see what i already said is p is equal to h rho g from here rho and g these two i have taken constant given that the liquid i am not changing okay that means the liquid is fixed that means uh, if the liquid is fixed the value of rho will also be fixed the density will be fixed but what if i am changing the liquid now let us think about this <clears throat> what if i am changing the liquid then what will happen density will be different density will be different and as a result what will happen if the density density increases if the density increases the pressure will increase or decrease let us say i have honey here honey and here i have water now i have taken a point at the same depth better to show in the middle okay see both the points are at the same depth that means now h is constant h is fixed for both the liquid right but we know that the density of honey is much greater than the density of water what do you think at which point the water, uh, the pressure will be felt higher 
let us say this point is a and this point is b at which point the pressure will be higher sir at a at point a. a right because the density of honey is higher than the density of water from here actually you can see it yourself if h and g these two are same here we can pressure see that for both the case the height same. is same and the g is it is fixed so pressure will be proportional to rho pressure will be proportional to rho that means the density if the density is increased the pressure will be increased and the density is decreased the pressure will also be decreased so these two relationship you have to keep it in your mind if you take a liquid of higher density definitely the pressure will go up okay so inshallah next class we will take a look at the topic of buoyancy okay let me give you a heads up regarding this buoyancy thing what is buoyancy in my childhood okay whenever i used to go to village i used to play with my cousins with a ball while we are taking bath in the pond okay so obviously it was a football okay and uh, if you can imagine this or many of you have already experienced this that whenever you are trying to you know sink the ball inside the liquid what is what is happening you cannot actually do it properly because you feel that someone else is pushing it up from the water right okay sir it, yes the ball is going like we are pre we are pushing the ball downside no when we release the ball when we release the ball it is going like much upper than the, yeah than because you can say it is popping up yeah it is like you know bouncing back okay someone else is throwing from the water into the upward But direction sir, how how does it happen the force that is exerted you can definitely you can feel that there is some force that is that is being exerted by the water on the ball right okay we are giving some force the water is also giving some force okay the force that is given by the water that is buoyancy banglate eta ke bole plobota english e jodi eta na bananta likhi ei bananta oneke likhe mistake kore ami eta ke bhabe mala rakhi buo yan c buo yan c thik ache eta ekshathe uchcharon korle buoyancy okay so <clears throat> please get the spelling correct acha so this is bonds yaar bangla ki bollam bangla eta naam hocche plobota this is the force that is exerted um on the on any substance when we are trying to submerge it within a liquid okay so inshallah in the next class we will see a detailed discussion about this one today up to this and i can see that your recess period time has already started sir so, sir one minute sir there will be no class test today today already you want to do class test no no not today any day are kids okana to bolche je no class test will be conducted uh that one we will see maybe i will give you some assignment okay sir apne assign okay sir Okay, inshallah. So see you in the next class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi.